Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to show you to get all of the enemies and civilians for stage 11 for the game Timbo the Badass Elephant. Now this is the stage Welcome to Zappoland, and this is where the game gets tough. Like, they started to get tough with stage 9 where it started uh, really kind of throwing you for loop for a little bit, but overall it wasn't too terrible, but the whole Zappoland, all of Zone 3, is just rough. I'm not going to lie. With this one, there's a couple of new things you gotta watch out for. They have a lot of electricity with this one, with this entire zone, and with this stage, it introduces you to a lot of that stuff. They have the flaming skulls, but they're actually electrical, and when you shoot them, they'll actually uh, jet out little sh streams of lightning in different directions. Now, these are pretty easy to avoid unless you're airborne, but every you definitely want to get rid of them because they are usually in the way, so just kind of be careful of that. We also have a new enemy that hops around a little bit and shoots energy balls around and they'll bounce off of uh, just different walls and stuff like that for a while. They are kind of hard um, to get to after a little bit, but they're really easy to take care of. But just just kind of take your time with them and it should be just fine. That being said, with this one in particular, you do want to watch out for there's going to be one spot where there's a little bit of a pinball mechanic, so watch out for that. That is kind of easily missable, I should say. And at the very end, when you get to the statue, if you just destroy it along the way, you'll miss out on the very last uh, civilian, which is actually after the trophy. So you have to run past it, go up in the air a little bit, you'll get a, a big peanut, and then you'll be able to get it. So just watch out for that. Pro tip, if you haven't already, I would definitely go back and grind out the 99 peanut butter jars. It's going to take four hours, but trust me, it's going to be worth it, so that way you don't have to worry about lives for the rest of the game. That's about all there is to the video. I'm going to let the rest of it play out, so if you enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you are looking for a specific stage, check the playlist at the end of the video, and you can find it there. If you have any questions about this stage, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy other video game-related content, that's kind of what I do, so consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor, and until next time, keep your story going.